Hey guys, peeps, welcome back to Snail TV. Um, pretty much a bit of a day off for myself, um, but I thought I'm still always tinkering around in the in the workplace, and um, I thought there was nothing else better to do than to work on the go kart. So um, had a small little tiny issue of trying to make it all select, not selecting gears, but to actually read every gear. Uh, the gearbox actually has uh, in most motorcycles. They have a gearbox selector, so you can actually um, uh, read out first, second, third, fourth, and fifth, sixth, or how many gears it's got. Uh, high boost is a six speed, so I can read out six gears. But um, anyway, so we, um, oh, well, I've hooked up uh, the selector when I first wired up the uh, fuel tech, the new fuel tech um, ECU there. Uh, we only just changed over a couple of weeks ago, and um, but I've wired it up, but I. Wired up a little bit wrong at the start. Um, had Nathaniel from Fuel Tech Australia. Thank you very much again, mate. Um, he uh, changed all the values and everything like that. Uh, but um, there's a the resistor that goes into there. But I didn't actually have both of them powered up. Um, uh, yeah, it's hard to explain. But uh, easiest thing to say is I actually wired it up wrong. That's all. But um, so yeah, uh, yesterday I actually got onto there actually and just just powered through it to see. I uh, messaged one of our mates that's a really guru with a uh, bit of electrics and turns out yeah I had it up um, yeah, a little bit wrong there so put power to them. Um, it got me a little bit there I had to read them all out so every time you selected a gear the voltages change so you only have uh, 0 to 5 volts there to actually select from um, and uh, all the values are like an exact value pretty much so they only have like a small range there what um, they can be between and um, yeah we got it though so yeah goes through all gears uh, selects them nicely as the gearbox always did but um, it reads them out perfectly so now with the high booster go-kart um, yeah we, we know when we're in third second third neutral any any gear so Oh, it's amazing. So, um, next thing is to, um, I've hooked up the speed sensor as well. Um, but now I've got to go through, I'm going to give a Nathaniel a call as well. But uh, I'm going to go through there. Just got to, we've got to select through of actually what it needs to read, how many teeth on the gear, and uh, how big the tyres are. So, I've selected all that, but I um, haven't got that working yet. So, um, yeah, that's all good though for now. But uh, at least we've going, we've just more progress for it. So uh, all these features that the fuel tech can do, um, I'm just trying to make a uh, advantage of all of them. Just trying to take, um, yeah, just trying to make them all work. That's all. So yeah, I'll start it up now, guys. Um, I'll get in the get in the go kart, start it up, and I'll show you guys it selecting all gears. Um, yeah, and it just, oh, it's amazing. It's awesome. Uh, it's something that I always wanted it to do. But now with this fuel tech, um, it's yeah, it's possible. So it's just yeah, awesome. So yeah, we'll just go through it now and let's have a look.
So there you go guys, uh, absolute animal. I've still got um, just a tad little, uh, uh, between fourth and fifth there. It's a little bit, um, a bit shabby there, but um, I'll get those voltages ready to go. Um, it's very easy to change and uh, once it's all worked out, uh, but uh, yeah, once again, it's the fuel tech has just done an awesome job of that. Uh, next thing is to actually do the motor, uh, the high booster motorcycle. Uh, we can uh, get all the gears all selecting on that as well. Um, it's just so handy to know of what actual gear you're actually in. Um, they sell aftermarket kits and everything like that with the actual um, little gauge there. But um, yeah, the fuel tech, if it can display on the fuel tech, then wait, why not? But I'm um, really, really happy with that. Uh, it's done awesome. So yeah, still got to uh, sort out that speed sensor there. Um, it's there, it's all hooked up. Just got to do all the settings on there, just so we can, then we can actually have speed on the go-kart. Um, a little bit different now, they're only actually a uh, five inch wheel compared to a uh, car, you know, 17 inch wheel, whatnot. But um, yeah, but it should be right. Sorry guys, my eyes are a little bit uh, tingly from the methanol at the moment. She's uh, a bit raw, but um, yeah, really, really happy with everything, guys. Um, it's just, yeah, going awesome. So next step is we're gonna do it on the motorcycle. Um, but this week we'll be getting the fuel tech for the higher half a booster guys and um, Yeah, I can't wait to do all these features on that thing as well because that thing is gonna be absolutely ratty as hell So really really excited, but thanks very much guys I thought I'll just show you guys of how all the updates of the, the little tiny bits and pieces I've been, been doing behind the scenes um, I'm always working on these things guys always got something to do always my mind is always going through I'm always asking questions um, but it's just awesome that an ECU can do so much. So thanks very much for fuel tech again um, Thanks very much to Nathaniel really really appreciate it, but um, yeah, thanks very much to you guys as well But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next, next video um, The bike and uh, the half a booster this week. I'm hoping and uh, Yeah, I'll see you guys then see you peeps